Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Wednesday, August 18th, 2021. Welcome to another eBay video. The reason I'm starting the video out here is because I want you to see it's still cloudy and nasty. Heavy rain is expected and it's going to be cloudy and rainy through next freaking week. We have not had a sunny day yet this year. I mean this week. Right. Two topics I want to discuss today. Number one, eBay has acted in a big way to stop shill bidding. And number two, after I discuss that, I want to discuss a little bit about credit card fraud with managed payments. I'm going to tell you about something that happened to me this week. So let's go inside and let's get started now. Okay, guys eBay has made a big announcement, and I consider this very good news for all eBay sellers and eBay buyers. I'm going to put a link in the description box below to this particular article, and you're going to want to probably read it for yourselves. But basically it says that those in the trading card industry were shocked Tuesday afternoon when eBay announced they were restricting the selling privileges of its largest card trading seller, PWCC, as a result of what it said was shill bidding. Now, let's start off by talking about what shill bidding is, for those of you guys who don't know. And for those of you guys who do know, if you've ever been a victim of it throughout your eBay career, would you please relate the story in the comment box below so we could all learn from it? Because I was a victim one time, at least that I know of, years ago. Shill bidding can only occur in the auction format. It cannot occur in fixed price listings or buy it now. So basically, let's say you have a seller like this particular company here that eBay says was shill bidding, PWCC. And let's say they list a card for maybe starting bid of $20. A legitimate buyer, John Smith, comes in and bids $20. Bill Jones then comes in. He's a legitimate guy, too. He bids $21. But now let's say PWCC wants more money than $21. They could use a fake throwaway account, let's say by the name of Jonathan No Good. And they could then bid, let's say, $25, hoping that either of the previous two bidders have lodged a bid that is more than $25, which would automatically up the price, or hoping that either of those two bidders, or possibly a third bidder, will increase their price to get the card, which was artificial, excuse me, artificially inflated by the fake bid of PWCC. According to the article, PWCC was a huge, absolutely huge seller in eBay, and it is believed that they did $200 million worth of gross sales on eBay last year alone. That is insane. I have to commend eBay for taking the time out and the initiative to ban this unscrupulous organization. Shill bidding hurts everybody, especially the buyers, okay? It hurts sellers too, because it gives us honest sellers a bad reputation. But it also really hurts the poor buyers who are forced to pay more. Let me tell you about one instance I had many years ago on eBay involving shill bidding. There was a seller, let's say John Smith, selling an item and let's say he started the bidding at $9.99. I came in and I bid them the minimum $9.99. And it was the last day of the sale. I always snipe a few minutes before the listing's gonna end. A person with zero feedback all of a sudden bids, let's say $10.99. So I didn't think anything of it. And I start outbidding this person. We're going back and forth to the very end, all right? He ups me, I up him, he ups me, and the price gets to be like, let's just say $60. 
Now, even at that price, I know I could make a profit on flipping the item. But here's what happened. Let's say I bid $60, and now the fake account bids $61. At that point, I decided I didn't want to go any more than $61, all right? I only wanted to go to $60 and no more. Now, time was getting short. The listing was going to end, so the person who was running the fake shill account got nervous. They didn't want to win the item for $61, so they retracted their bid. And basically, as the reason, I think they wrote in typed wrong bid amount. Now, keep in mind, this person has been going back and forth with me nonstop all day. All right? And now that it's getting near the end, it's snipe time, they want to retract their bid. So the auction ended with me as the winner for $60. Because back then, eBay didn't have protections in place. So when the buyer canceled their bid, it only canceled their most recent bid, not all their previous bids, okay? So I was left paying $60. And I knew right then and there I was a victim of shell bidding. And I wrote to the seller and I said, let me tell you something. I am not paying you $60. The person, I didn't accuse them, I said the person who was bidding against me is obviously up to no good. If you look at the bidding history, it's me and that one person, and they refuse to pay. So I'm paying you $9.99 for this item. And the seller had no choice but to agree. If they hadn't agreed, I would have kicked it up to eBay. But again, this was during the Wild West days of eBay, so I'm not sure they would have done anything anyway. But that was one story that actually did happen to me involving shill bidding. So it can be a very costly thing on eBay or any other venue for that matter. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns on shill bidding, put them in the comment section below. And I got to clap and give eBay a round of applause for getting rid of those scumbags. All right? Because that's what they are. They're dishonest and they're hurting the platform. So yeah. Another return just came in. Holy Christ on the cross in Brooklyn. I have had a world record number of returns this week. More than I've ever had in my eBay career in one week. Let's see what the details are. Well, he's being... Look at this. He found it cheaper on eBay. Jesus Christ, man. I'm telling you something. Well, he'll be paying the return shipping. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about returns since I have some time. Originally, I was going to wait till Friday's video, but I have so much material to cover on Friday that I'm glad I'm making this video during the middle of the week. I want to talk about credit card fraud with the new managed payments. This is a very serious matter, and I think eBay needs to look into this. I'm going to show you an actual case right now. This is something that happened to me just the other day. So let's get started. We're going to have to do screenshots on this one. And here we go. Now, I'm selling this item used as is with blemishes with no returns. It is rare that I do not offer returns. However, what I'm doing is I'm dumping a lot of my old overstocks to get rid of them at cheap prices. And even in the description, I want to read this to you because this will come into play. This is a special closeout sale, so all sales will be final. Please be sure these are correct before making any purchases. The part number on the back is blah, 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 and they measure. And if you have any questions, just ask. Okay? Now. What happened is this. This buyer right here with zero feedback joined eBay specifically to buy my item. Okay? So he pays. I send him the item. He gets the item. And what do you think happens? He wants to return them because they don't fit. Under eBay rules, 
I am under no obligation to accept the return when it says all sales final, especially if it's for buyer remorse. Now, if he would have said something like, item not as described, as you know some people do, that's a whole different story. eBay will force that return, even if it's not true. And that's something that's going to have to be looked at, but I don't even want to talk about that now. I want to talk about this. So, I get the return request from eBay, and it gives me a bunch of choices. One is accept the return, one is decline the return, one is communicate with the buyer, and one is offer a partial refund. Now, if I was to decline the return, that ends it right then and there, okay? The return is declined, and he can't do a thing about it. And it clearly says no returns. Before I even got to respond, because I wasn't here at work, I was on the road. Before I even got to respond, I get communications from eBay. First one says the case has been closed. How is the case closed? It said, we have closed this case because the buyer has filed a charge back with his credit card company saying he doesn't recognize the transaction. You must now furnish proof to the credit card company that you actually shipped him the item. So I went onto that screen, all right, I confirmed the tracking and I sent it off to eBay, who in turn through managed payments will send it to his credit card company. And again, he chose unrecognized transaction. I want to ask you a question. If the buyer just sent me a return request saying he bought the wrong size and they don't fit, how on God's green earth can he claim unrecognized transaction just to get his money back? In my humble opinion, that is out and out credit card fraud. I have never had this happen in my 22 years on eBay like this until managed payments took over last year, last July. It's unbelievable. And a lot of you guys have been experiencing this as well. I know that for a fact. So what I think is going to happen is the credit card company, even though it's going to show that it's delivered to the guy, might just pull the money and give it back to him anyway. And if that case, then eBay would step in and protect me as a seller, or you, and give us our money back under seller protection and take the hit. But that, to me, is not good because eBay is taking the hit, not the buyer. And if eBay is taking the hit now, you know darn well down the road they're going to pass that cost on to all its sellers. You know it's going to happen, guys. So if it's happening to me, it can happen to you. We really need to get together on this and hold these buyers accountable for their mistakes, for their theft, and for their fraud. eBay has very wisely taken a step against those who are engaging in shill bidding. And I give eBay a round of applause for that. But I implore everybody at eBay and even the credit card companies to get together on this and go after these thugs that are out and out trying to rip off sellers. I have another good story for you that I'm going to save for Friday night, okay? I have never in my 22 years on eBay seen so many nasty people looking for a fight, wanting to leave people negative feedbacks, committing credit card fraud. It was never like this before, all right? I'm not saying that there's not a lot of money to be made on eBay. I'm not saying that most of the buyers on eBay are bad. No, 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 no! It's only a small, maybe one half of 1%, but that one half of 1% is so freaking prolific and adept at what they do that it's scary.
It's scary. Wait till you see what I got for Friday night, folks. Guys, I'm Crazy New York Driver, and you're not. Thank you for watching this video. Please comment on those topics. Your input is needed. It's valued. And it will help me talk more about this topic Friday night. I'm Crazy New York Driver. You're not. Rock on and peace!